Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tayhutu and yes, I am standing now in front of my host. I don't have the time today to record a complete video, so I'm making a short video with the high points of the news I read this morning, the Bam Bam chart, the Bitcoin chart, and then I will add a really cool video that we recorded last year and we didn't receive any views on this video and it's an amazing video where we spent some time with Roman, her father, in Spain in a village called Guadalest. You will enjoy it. Enjoy the complete video, the interesting Bitcoin chart, and of course, all the information I share till the end. Bam! First things first, guys, let's take a look at the Bitcoin chart. This chart, bam. This is a four hour chart. You can see we broke out of this huge bull flag pattern. We went up now all the way to 45, 46, even 48K, dropping back to 45K now, creating a new bull flag pattern, in my opinion, which could take us to above 50K very soon. I think the next target is around 50K and then maybe even almost all the way up to 60K. But let's take a look at this chart because I saw my friend Lisa Ann Edwards posting this chart today on Twitter. Really cool chart, this one. And yes, Lisa always makes really colorful charts with hidden messages in it. This time she did a hidden message to Elon Musk. Elon Musk, I should say, because I saw a comment. Did he not Elon, but Elon Musk. So Elon Musk is involved in Lisa's chart now. And Lisa, you can see what she is predicting. Also a four hour chart. And you can see the targets on the right side on the chart. These are the yellow levels. These are the targets for Lisa on the four hour Bitcoin chart. So we could be battling between 44K and like 46K a little bit, and then we could break out to 49K, and then the next step would be 54K, then the next step would be 60K, and then the next step after that would be 65K. So also Lisa is seeing the same as I'm seeing in the chart. We could be forming another very bullish pattern, bringing us all the way up to almost 60 or even 65K. Really cool, colorful chart with a lot of information. Pause the video to analyze Lisa chart i think lisa has been smashing it this year with her charts a lot of really good predictions so that's why i always use lisa's charts now and then in my videos as well so please thumbs up for this video but also for lisa bam let's walk a little bit this way so we have another angle of our house bam new angle <laughs> It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter because you're not walking on the beach, Diddy. But we have a new angle of the house and I'm saving time here. So let's take a look at the Bam Bam charts. This chart, bam. On this chart, you can see we traded with 450 US dollar. Yes, with the leverage of 10. Yes, again on Bybit. If you want to sign up to Bybit, again, use the referral links because we use the referral fees that we earn to put in a fund and help poor people all over the world. So if you sign up to Bybit, Dudex or Prime XBT, please use the referral links down below the video. You're not only helping me, yourself, but also a lot of poor people all over the world that will be very happy when we do all these donations and all these projects that we are setting up for those people. Again, back to the chart. We did two trades. We started with 450 US dollar with a leverage of 10. The first trade was a short, a short with 3.5% profit times the leverage of 10, 35% profit. So we turned $450 into 600 US dollar. Then there was a long, it was a long with 2.8% profit, leverage of 10, 28% profit. And that turned $600 into 784 US dollar. So that's a huge profit. Just two trades following the bam bam and the TikTok signals on the bottom of the charts. You can see the green arrows the moments we entered the trade and the moments we doubted about entering the trade but we didn't you can see clearly why we didn't I only got to trade two times yesterday because I was doing a lot of calls yesterday a lot of administration work and a first clubhouse live in the Netherlands and that took two hours I'm still figuring out if clubhouse is going to be this new social media thing I, I'm not sure I need to see because all the information I spread yesterday on clubhouse is not being saved so nobody can look or listen this back which is kind of really strange if you want to educate people so let's see how this will evolve but and I did a clubhouse in Dutch English and German already in the first week that clubhouse went live like in my surroundings BAM 
some very short news items. I will only name the news items as I don't have time to go deeper into the news items today because I'm going to add a really cool video that you should be seeing at the moment. The UN is now saying that North Korea is behind this huge hack from exchanges and using the bitcoins they got out of this hack of those exchanges to fund nuclear weapons. I don't know. I think this is really far-fetched, but again, I have already said many times, I think Bitcoin and all these currencies are going to play a really big role in the future in finance. So war is also finance. So yeah, it could be that the North Korean government hacked all those exchanges to claim all those Bitcoins, exchange them to dollars and buy, create nuclear weapons. But again, I think it's always this FUD created to give a negative feeling into Bitcoin. You know, all the wars and all the stupid stuff that has been happening in the last decades was funded by dollars, mostly by dollars and euros and all those currencies, not by cryptocurrencies like bitcoins. So I always read these kinds of news with a pinch of salt. I'm like, ah, okay, they want to crash the price again because Apple wants to step in and maybe they need to press the cra uh, crash the price to 30k so that Apple can start to buy their bitcoins cheaply before they announce that they were stepping into Bitcoin. All these kinds of games are being played on a bigger level. Don't let them fool you. Never FOMO, never freak out, always zoom out and just keep watching the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel so you will be up to date about all these scams. Can I call this scams? Yeah, like kind of scams by the government and the mass media that they are creating. Bam. Negative news about Bitcoin. Also that I will share on this video. Yes, Bitcoin's mempool is like clogging up. I think we have 125,000 transactions waiting to be done. Uh, so this is what they call clogging up the mempool. The mempool is getting full. Transactions will take longer. That is not good. That is why people should start to use Lightning Network more and more for their transactions and Bitcoins then the mempool won't be clogging up because we will use a second layer application Lightning Network to transact with each other, which saves all these mempool issues. But in the future, when Bitcoin will evolve to the 21st century of gold, you know what it's already doing, you know, I don't think people will again be like, worrying about a few fees they will be paying because of the sending of million dollars of worth of Bitcoin all over the world. So let's see how it will evolve. But I want to remind you, we have something called Lightning Network that you can use to transact very cheaply with each other in Bitcoin. So please do your research on Lightning Network and let's as a community start to adapt these Lightning Network apps like the blue wallet more and more so we can exchange bitcoins with each other using this blue wallet and lightning network in lightning speed without fees i think it's very important as a community to start supporting this more and more and more Bam. Uh, I read also something about the whole Bitcoin energy debate. I'm not going into this because it's really bullshit. Just compare how much energy is used to create money and to make sure we can exchange that money with each other all the world. And then please start your calculation with the plucking of cotton and then transporting with huge trucks that cotton to a fabric and then turning this into paper to another fabric, turning it into money, distributing the money all over the world with airplanes, trucks and all that stuff. And then, yes, then it only starts. Then the money arrives in these bell bi uh, bank buildings with ATM machines turning 24 seven bank buildings full with thousands of employees working behind a desktop that is being backed up by a server room that is being climatized, climatized by air conditioning or heating also because the people need to be warm or cold in these bank buildings. All those energy costs just to support the existence of fiat currency is way, way, way more than the energy cost of a few mining companies mining Bitcoin every day. And you can see this on this chart. Bam! You can see that crypto mining is using only 0.49% of all energy around there in the world. You can see that the use of Bitcoin only uses 0.49% of all the energy consumption in the world. And you can see to produce Bitcoin, only 0.59% of all produced energy in the world is being used for cryptocurrency. So please, please stop bullshitting us with this energy problem because start to focus on that we are saving energy because we are stepping away from this traditional finance world where we are using a shitload more of energy than we are using with Bitcoin. And then again, in Bitcoin, we are also looking into renewable energy sources because I think 80% of the mining equipments are using renewable energy, which the normal traditional system is not doing. That was everything that I'm going to say to you about energy. 
bam and yes i used a lot of energy to say that and that is the end of this video please enjoy this four minute video that we created last year that only had 200 views i will include it in this video because i believe this family video deserves way more views because the Bitcoin family is not only about Bitcoin prices, is not only about the blockchain technology, it is also about life and how we as a family have been supporting crypto and traveling all over the world, trying to spend Bitcoin and educate people in the usage of Bitcoin. Please enjoy this. Thank you for watching this episode. If you'd really like it, already give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. Yes, I talk very quickly because I really don't have time today. Enjoy this last five minutes. And always remember, please, to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about and exactly what we will show you now in these last five minutes. Enjoy it to the end, guys, and please give it a thumbs up up and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye. Bam. People should not be afraid of the governments, but the government should be afraid of the people. V for Vendetta. So I love it in the van. Let's see how we can pay now with Bitcoin. Hey guys, so today we're going to Guala Guadalas and today which one? Algar Waterfalls. Algar Waterfalls. Yeah. And we're going to try to buy a book with Bitcoin. We got love that will never need to hide. Love will always rise above. Beautiful. Such Enjoy the view. Only green. yours and you are mine. Take my hand and let's fly away to another galaxy. Do you like these kinds of history lessons or the history lessons in school? This. Yes. Why? Because it takes five minutes and you learn more. <laughs> that was a very efficient answer. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like this one? I don't know, it's just more fun. Because you see it, what? Yeah. Just you want to do the headstand? The headstand. Here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so now we're the alone. Alone. And at night we'll be the stars. We can go any place that we want to. I don't care if that's too far. Take my hand and let's fly away. To another galaxy Hold me close, I want to feel the love Together we are free Can we also pay with Bitcoin? <laughs> Do you know Bitcoin? Yeah Can we pay with Bitcoin? No Not possible? Okay, no Card or cash? Card or cash? We don't accept Bitcoin, Jessa Next year? Maybe Maybe next time, okay <laughs> If not next time, we come back and we shoot. Thank you, Gracias. Yeah, Arthur, come on. Back. Back. From there. Jesse, do it. Bella! I have to live with this. We came at the entrance of the waterfalls and it was a very steep climb and the kids didn't want to do the climb. Like ding, 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 ding. And we have, um, how do you say it, Opa Emil, Grandpa Emil, we have Grandpa Emil with us. It's also not a pleasure to climb now for him. And we need to pay entrance fee. And in Norway, we went to all the waterfalls free. for free. We could even sleep at the waterfalls. So why should we pay in Spain? It's nature. Nature should be for free. So let's go to the next thing. thing. So me and I are walking towards the book store, comic, comic book store or something. Yeah. They should accept bitcoins. So let's see if they really accept bitcoins. And if they do accept Bitcoins, of course, I'm going to buy some, some books over there and pay with my Bitcoins. 
using the light.im wallet because that one works so simple and I want to try it now here in Spain this is the famous comic book store do you still accept bitcoins? yes? serious? oh my god high five I'm going to call my kids they come here we buy books and we pay with bitcoin this one this one I love that one even vendetta we should not be afraid of the government and this one. Transaction is sent. Bitcoin paid. Bitcoin accepted, guys. Bitcoin accepted. What more do you want? 